In this video, you're going to be learning how to create a floating portrait so that you could have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, the original picture was this, where we've got somebody holding up somebody else. Uh, the images that you're taking in class are actually you on a chair or you know a model on a chair doing an interesting pose. So the first thing that you want to do is actually open up the image that you took of nobody at all with the scene. So it should be totally blank, nobody in it, not even a chair, nothing like that. Then you're going to bring in the image on top of that that has the person with the chair or the person being held up. We need to do a couple things uh, to line up the two pictures. The first thing is to unlock the bottom layer. So double click the lockbox, click OK. Then we also need to right click and raster size this top layer. Select both of them by holding shift and clicking both of them. So that way they're both selected. Then go up to the edit menu on the top of the, uh, the bar here. Go down to auto align layers. Click OK. This will line the layers up. After that, you'll use the crop tool to crop off anything that didn't work out in the picture. So you can see there's some checkered patterns onto the side here, so we need to bring the image in just a little bit on each of the sides. Hit enter. Now it's going to be a real easy process for us to get rid of what's below the person. To do that, create a layer mask. Remember that painting black gets rid of anything that's uh, you know in the layer where you're painting. So I'm just painting black down here. Remember on your keyboard, you can do the bracket keys to change the brush size. You want to get in really close to your image. Use a smaller brush to get more detailed. And continue. If you've completed that, I want you to double check to make sure that you've got a good amount of space that you cleared out underneath your subject. So hit the eyeball on the layer below and just make sure that you've got a good amount of space that you cleared out. Because you're going to add in a creative element to this. So it's up to you as to how you do that. Uh, one of the suggestions that I'm going to have is that you create a shadow so that way it looks like they're really floating. Um, now with this lighting, you know, it wouldn't have made as much sense to have that there, but I'm going to throw it in anyway so you can learn how to do it. So now you're going to create a blank layer right here in between. We're going to select the person using a quick select tool like you've done before. After we've selected a rough outline of them, doesn't need to be super exact, we're going to go back to this blank layer and we're going to fill this area with black. Let's go up to fill, content, black. Hit OK. Make sure that you've hit Control D to deselect on the uh, layer so that way when you're moving the shadow around um, it's just by itself. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can get a good feel for it here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take that shadow, we're going to transform it. Now shadows make more sense to have flipped upside down. So that's what I just did. You can see how I did that just by taking the transform tool and um, flipping it over on itself. I'm moving it into a spot that makes it a little bit more believable. Maybe even uh, off the page just a little bit here uh, would make the most sense. And I'm rotating it a little bit. So now, depending if it's a hard light or soft light, you affect it differently. You can definitely change the opacity so you can kind of see through to the layer below. But then you can also add a blur to it. So in the filter menu on the top, go down to blur, Gaussian blur, and then increase the radius of the pixel blur. You can see how it affects the, the shadow. If you've got more soft light, you do more of a blur. If you've got more hard light, you let it um, not be as blurred. Then click OK. And this would be a pretty believable shadow uh, to be for this person. You can certainly do any kind of other editing that you want to do. Um, like for this person, maybe it would make sense to add like a flame behind them, like they're flying through the air and they've broke the sound barrier or something like that. Um, you can go crazy with it and have fun.